the content on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only. Please contact your financial advisor for any financial questions you may have concerning your investments. Important 1099 information from your Uphold and Gemini this year. We're going to start off with Gemini. From TurboTax, you're just going to enter in Gemini and go ahead and select it. It's going to have you log into your Gemini account via the web and follow these instructions here. You want to get the Gemini API key master. So go ahead and get that from your Gemini account. Now, where that is in your Gemini account is you're going to go ahead and click on your profile. Select settings. There's your API menu. Go ahead and click create API key. Do your authentication. Select scope to master. Give your API key a name and I'm going to call it my Gemini. Twenty twenty four. Make sure auditor is selected and trading is unselected and create your API key. Securely copy your API master and secret keys and copy and paste them into your TurboTax document as you see here. Make sure you save them somewhere. This is going to be the only time you're going to be able to access these things. I would save it to a flash drive and just forget about it. Once you've done that, go ahead and get your forms. You're not a robot. And it's going to take up to 15 minutes to do this part. So let's sit back and relax. Depending on your connection, it could go just as easy as two minutes and you're done. And make sure you added all your accounts and hit continue. There you have it for that step. Now we just completed Gemini. Uphold is a different bird. Now you can look at some of my previous videos on how to upload it via a CSV file, but upload does give you a 1099B form. And this is the way to enter it a lot easier, a lot faster, just from that 1099B. Let's go ahead and say, we're gonna search for a by name and go uphold. Enter it a different way. Don't bother with the CSV this time. You have an option right here for 1099B. Let's go ahead and click it and hit continue. With your 1099B from Uphold in hand, you're gonna go ahead and hit the bank or brokerage. And that's going to be Uphold HQ Inc. Account number is optional. I'm going to blur mine out, but I'm going to enter it here. And the Paris EIN number. That's optional. You can leave that blank. But I'm not. Hit continue. Tell us about the sales on your uphold account. There's ease. Sales include employee stock. No. Do you have more than three sales? Yes. Do these sales include any and other types of investments? No. Did you buy investments listed 
Did you buy every investment listed on your 1099B? I absolutely did. Hit continue. Choose how to enter your sales. Sales section totals is what we want to go for. Not one by one. Again, this is a lot easier. Hit continue. You got your 1099B form. You scroll down to the bottom and there's a summary on it. You have the short term, continued, and any long term. But this year, it's all short term. And hit continue. You're going to select short term covered. Enter that total short term sum. The total proceeds are going to be the first column in your form. And I'll show you that here. And then you're going to take your cost basis analysis or other cost and enter that here. And hit continue. Once that's done, hit continue. And that's going to do it for your uphold. I'm going to go back and review what Gemini is finding, but I don't think it should be a big problem. A quick review of everything you've done here. You've got your Coinbase, Gemini, and Uphold. Those are the only ones I've been using last year. Go ahead and hit the confirm button. Everything looks right. Capital gains is only $188. Hit next. And that should do it for your crypto. Each successive year, TurboTax makes it easier for you to file these crypto taxes without any fuss or muss. With all the exchanges starting to come up to speed with what is required of them, in this era of SEC litigation, it is refreshing to know that you can get this done without any problems. Let me know what you think in this comment section below. I'll talk to you later.